All right. Hey, uh, I'm Jack Mitchell, applicant for NICA, just doing the uh, interview part of the application. Uh, so basically, yeah, how do you feel you'll be able to manage a full-time load for the next three years? Um, I'm actually super looking forward to it. Um, I spent last year traveling with a circus over in England and that was about, it was seven to nine training hour days from Monday to Friday. Um, so that hits that 35 hour mark that you guys are estimating. Um, plus then on Saturday and Sunday, we do four to five shows uh, each day. So that was, that was really fun. I'm actually up for more of that if I can. So yeah, three years of that, I would be very excited. Uh, question two, yeah, which two skills are you interested in? Actually interested in um, hand balancing if I can. Um, and then juggling or pass juggling, bit of both actually, just general kind of juggling with clubs and balls or everything really. Um, yeah, which would be amazing. Uh, circus performances that have inspired me. Definitely, okay, I'll just, I'll list two real quick. There was this side up acrobatics, come from Nika. Um, they actually inspired me to do handstands originally, so I've been plugging away at that for a while now. Uh, but I saw their act, they were doing uh, an act in the Spiegel tent. It was their beach boys one. I just went, that is amazing. Just from all the stuff they did, and I just went, I want to be able to do stuff like that because I hadn't seen handstands done um, that well before, really. And then second one was um, over in England. There was a, there was like two guys, just super amazing, BB and B shoot, and they uh, they were just amazing with clubs. Like did it, did it with ease. Just went through like you know six, seven, eight, nine, just super easy the whole time. And I just went, wow, you guys are fluid. I definitely want to be able to juggle clubs like that. Uh, okay, injuries that may affect my ability to train. Um, none at all. I'd like to say I'm a physically fit and able dude, which is good. Yeah. Okay, one of my longer term goals, uh, basically, hopefully in the future, long term, um, you know, if I graduate NICA, that would be amazing. And then after that, like I'd know after NICA, I'd have like the skills to be able to be like, okay, this is what I'm worth. Hopefully I can go, um, and honestly, like I really like um, traditional circus. So hopefully I'd be able to go to one of them. Anywhere, like whether it's England, Australia, or anywhere else that we work out later, um, I'd be able to go, hey, this is what I'm worth. Do you want to be able to take me on? Like, have you got a spot? And I go, yeah, actually, you sound good for that. And um, I don't know, I'll see where I go from there, kind of. Do I have any plans if I'm accepted into NICA? Not really, but kind of. Uh, mainly because last year I did get accepted, but I had too many plans because I didn't think I was going to get accepted. Um, so basically, like I had plans that finished in February and I thought that's about when NICA started. Turns out it was in January. So I had to decline, which I'm really bummed about because I haven't been able to train with you guys for the last year. So I've kept it a bit more blank slate-ish. So hopefully this year, if you do accept me, great. And everything's fine. Uh, if you don't, hopefully I'm just trying to organize things right now as a backup plan. So hopefully I'll go to Argentina for three or four months, train in some circus there, which would be great, get some more international experience. Uh, and then after that, yeah, <laughs> which would be good. Don't know, apply again, I guess.